Hello and welcome to the Tuesday, March 19th, 2024 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Well, it has long been shown that RSA certificates that are only 1024 bits in length are not considered secure. And well, uh, back sort of around 2010, I think there was this famous demo where a group in Switzerland did break RSA 1024 with a bunch of uh, PlayStations. Microsoft uh, now announced that they will soon get rid of uh, 1024 bit RSA keys operating system wide for Windows. Now you may wonder, hey, uh, isn't that already kind of a thing? Uh, you can already not really get a certificate from a public set of authority that's less than 2048 bit in size. The problem here is that there are a lot of sort of internal Windows components that use RSA and they often use internal set of authorities and they of course can still create these shorter keys. So Microsoft wants you to know to make sure to no longer create these shorter keys because in the near future, and there is no specific date here, these shorter keys will no longer work with Windows. Web browsers, of course, have not trusted these short keys for quite a number of years now. And Google announced a significant upgrade to its safe browsing feature. The way this worked until now was that your browser would download a list of malicious sites or hashes of these malicious sites every 30 to 60 minutes. Well, of course, these lists have been growing and uh, also it has been more and more important to very quickly block some of these sites. So starting soon, Google Chrome at least will check sites real time. There's a small downside to this or, well, depending on how you look at it, maybe a large downside, and that's that in doing so, your system will essentially tell Google what websites you are visiting. Well, Google says that uh, they're actually avoiding this issue by sending your data through a privacy server that will obfuscate and anonymize uh, the data. We'll see how this all works out, uh, but uh, yes, this should give you a more agile response and require less resources on the local system, which of course is uh, particularly important for smaller hardware. And now let's take a look at what we got in patches here. One sticks out and that's a security patch for File Catalyst, a file transfer solution by Fortra. Well, uh, pretty straightforward actually. It's one of those directory traversal issues where an attacker could upload a file to any directory on the system, including the document root. And then by uploading a JSP shell, in this case, it's a Java application, the attacker would be able to execute arbitrary code, which is why this particular vulnerability has a CBSS score of 9.8. A proof of concept exploit is available and is expectedly pretty straightforward. So yes, I wouldn't be surprised to see some exploitation already happening right now. Patches are available, but as so often assume compromise before applying the patch. And then we have another interesting vulnerability where not providing any authentication information does get you access to the system. This time it's in Spring Security. Spring Security is a Java framework that actually takes care of a lot of security functions like authentication authorization. It does have a authenticated voter component. And if that pass along a null value, then you may actually been granted access uh, to components that you aren't supposed to have access to. Updates are available. This of course is yet another one of those uh, supply chain issues where you first have to figure out oh, what exactly takes advantage of Spring Security and uses this authenticated voter feature. 
And if you're using TrendNet routers, there are two new vulnerabilities that do allow remote code execution. Shouldn't be a big problem if you aren't exposing your admin interface. Patches are not available right now, but should be available soon. Well, and this is it for today. Thanks again for listening. Thanks for liking and subscribing and do whatever you can to make more people listen to this podcast and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.